who's stealing words from you know who Playing gigs when we can Trying to impress our fans Older sister goes berserk Her temper is her biggest crook I got a plan that might just work now You're doing great, bro. You've been awake for 79 hours. Is this part of your project for the school science fair? <laughs> no, he thinks his dreams will be more awesome if he saves them up. This is my project. Guys, I have the perfect project for us. We're gonna blow the universe's mind by demonstrating the healing powers of rock. Um, how? Easy. Cuba Tim has a gnarly cold. <laughs> We put some headphones on him, rock a tune, science happens, and poof, his cold is gone. Garage Band proves it's the cure for what ails ya. Well, I was gonna show you my shrink ray, but this is way better. I'll just put this down here where it can cause no harm at all. If we're gonna rock, I should catch a nap first. Let's see what kind of dream stew's been bubbling for 79 hours. Whatever your project is, burn it and avoid public unworthiness. The Together Forever tester that I forced Mina to build is gonna prove that Nick and I will be together forever! <laughs> Sorry, sis. Garage Band's gonna win the science fair this year. Come on, guys. Let's go see if Tim's cold is any worse. Fingers crossed. There's no way I'm gonna let the science of destiny get oozed on by the science of... whatever. I'm wrecking their stuff! <laughs> wow! You disappeared their drums! Yeah, I thought this was a flamethrower, but whatevs. What a fun, horrible dream! I gotta record this for Ken! Moment by selfie! Mellow students! Welcome to the Elementary High Science Fair. Your projects better be good, cause this judge is in a judging mood. Guest Judge Nick Mallory wants you to believe in yourselves. X doesn't equal Y, it equals why not. Don't worry, Tuba Tim, we'll rock your cold away. Right, Lanes? Sure, Core. As soon as Khan gets here and you know we get some virus-killing lyrics. Khan says he's dreaming he's been shrunk down and swallowed by Trina. But that's ridiculous. Or is it? <laughs> I'm so glad you're guest judging this year. <laughs> yep, he's in there. But my shrink ray only lasts for an hour. Or the exact amount of time before being small gets boring. So what happens if Khan gets bored? He'll revert back to his normal size and Trina will explode. <laughs> Yeesh, I love when Trina explodes, but not like this. We gotta get Khan out of there. We'll need Trina, my shrink ray, and a really small submarine. We did not make a flamethrower, science failers. Wow, that's convenient. It gets convenienter. Let's get shrinking! My mini-sub will bring the ocean depths to the common man. Lies have no place in science. You get a disqualification ribbon. Now to get you inside Trina's face. But how? Yeah, it's a slingshot I made. It's pretty rad. Come on, Nina. The quicker you science up this junk, the quicker I can prove to the world that I am destined to be with... <gasps> Hunky Nick Mallory. <sighs> Good thing you practiced with that cherry tomato. You'd better not do that with Ken. Nick Mallory, you will be my... <laughs> Yes! Down the hatch! Hey, bro! Welcome to my dream! Soggy cheese doodle? You're awake! You've been shrunk and you're in Trina's stomach! We gotta get you out of here before you unshrink and Trina goes kablowing! Kin says they're headed for Trina's sweat glands. Con vetoed plan P. Then Trina needs to work up a sweat! Not gonna get beat out! What do we do with the mighty potato? We mash it, we fry it, but trapped within is pure energy! Behold the potato-powered clock! <laughs> Nick was hoping this project had a snacking component. This science fair is looking science poor to me. Why hasn't Nick come over to tell me I'm the best yet? 
This potato-powered heat lamp will really get her pores pumping. What a beautiful night. Con, that big sky is Trina's skin. If she explodes, this beautiful night will be all over the gym. Awesome! I can't wait to see how I'll dream that up. I bet it'll be all... <sighs> She's sweating. Here we go, bro. Uh, so hot. <laughs> sweating is for gross farmers. Okay, plan C. Tell Kin to head for the mouth. Why smell one of your favorite foods when you can smell them all at the same time? With chemistry! And you can smell all your failures at once with one of these. Nick can sense your pain, but he knows you'll do fine. <laughs> Puns. Trina, do you smell that? Chicken! Popcorn! Mm, my mouth is starting to salivate! Look out, saliva pool! Here I come! <laughs> Drooling is for farmers with retainers. Kin says your fan thingy didn't work. Your sister's a robot! And what destroys all robots? A can opener? Bus? Dynamite? Emotions, fella. We gotta make Trina cry. Sure I can't sell you on the dynamite idea. What is that thing? A black hole? No, that's her heart. This fun dream is turning into a nightmare. Fix it! How can I fix your dream? So I am dreaming. <gasps> Which means this is a nightmare. Ah. Nick didn't know you were into science, Trina Riffin. Only the most into it. So, what's your theory, Professor? If science tells Trina that she'll never get away from me, she'll turn on the waterworks for sure. Kin and Khan will get cried out, and we'll have lyrics for our own experiment. I hope it works. Kin and Khan must be terrified. They should be, but they're not! I wish we could just stay here forever. I'm learning so much, and the stress of my normal life has flushed away. Feels like the same old thing for, like, an hour. I'm getting bored. Bored? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ken says Khan's getting bored. Hurry! Hey, Mina, is that together forever tester gonna say that Nick and Trina will be together forever? Dunno. It's an experiment. There are no guarantees. That's science! But if Trina doesn't get the results she wants, is she gonna yell at science? Or you? But uh, there's like an 80% chance that they'll be together forever. Which still leaves a 90% chance of, Mina, this is all your fault. It's only a 20% chance. If I were you, I'd just make the machine read together forever, no matter what. Unless you want Trina to be disappointed. <gasps> the science of destiny, huh? Well, let's hope this ain't your ribbon of destiny. Boom shakalaka! This machine can predict how long a couple will last from not ever to forever ever. Observe. Nick? <laughs> I knew it! We're meant to be together! Toads forever! I'm not sure I want to share the garage that long. This machine thinks family should be together forever. Nick digs that. What? No fair, Cory! You blinded me! With No one's screaming in horror. I guess we did it. Wow! Everyone's in my dream! Behold the healing powers of rock! Who tries to predict what makes me tick? It makes me sick. I'm about to go atomic. You're particularly annoying, that's why. I want to dissolve you like an alkali. You've turned all my protons into contons.
can breathe. My cold was rocked away. Crowd Fair wins first prize and only prize. Wow! Hmm, that was way less fun than disqualifying people. I never would have dreamed we'd win this thing. That must mean I really got shrunk. Well, Cor, looks like music really can heal. Maybe, Guy. But sometimes things don't need to be healed, like our insides. They're gooey and gross for a reason, and an inner journey might just make things worse. Forcing a dream inside could force something more important outside. And the next thing you know, you're exploding all over the gym. I don't think I'll sleep tonight. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Explain them already. I can't stand it anymore. Oh, these? My shoe universities? Shoe universities? I got the idea when I heard someone talk about walking a mile in another man's shoes. That's so far. They must really stink. Ah! <sighs> Smooth. They teach you while you walk. That's as ridiculous as whatever Corey's about to burst in and say. Guys, I booked us a gig at Bean Barney's new coffee house. I don't know about coffee shops. They're full of hipsters. What's a hipster? Dead rolling eyes, silly t-shirts, tight pants, and they never like anything. So lame. Hmm. It's like I've seen that harsh judging eye roll somewhere before. You're wrong about one thing, Lainey. Hipsters never like anything unless it's obscure. Like the barely known rock god Dark Rim Glacius? Rock or Dark Rim Glacius was quiet, strange, and despite claims that he was artsy, he was just not good at all. But no one had ever heard of him, so for some unknown reason, ancient hipsters worshipped him, and he made them feel cool. Hipsters only like music that no one has ever heard of. This is perfect! No one's ever heard of us. <laughs> ever. Well, let's go out the back. Wicked cool transition! I don't know about these hipster kids, Corey. They don't like nothing, not even s'mores. Ugh, that s'more is trying so hard to look tasty. And they've driven a dozen bands off stage just by rolling their eyes. <laughs> Garage Band can handle a few eye rolls. Don't be so sure, Corey. Once those hipster eyes roll at you, you feel worthless. They're just looking for something they've never heard of. And no one has ever heard of Garage Band. Except her. Why aren't these people automatically fawning over me? I've been here for at least five seconds. Uh, try reflipping your hair, Trina? <laughs> Too cute. Lame. Ah! I'll bleep my deets. Totes up in the bean barn. <laughs> what? None of them follow me on bleeder? Uh, one of us does. Perfect. Trina's here and already frazzled. <laughs> Look at her, trying so hard to fit in with the cool kids. We'll have lyrics in no time. Uh, sorry to interrupt your, uh, blinking, but I'd like to introduce tonight's act, Garage Band. <laughs> wow, that's the most excited I've ever seen them. I've never heard of these guys. They must be awesome. They're so hilariously unawesome, it's not even funny. So you've heard of them? Totes. These guys are so overplayed. <laughs> Hey, everyone! Hope you'll be ready to rock later tonight, because we're... I feel so worthless. For the first time ever, I don't feel completely awesome. Hipsters. I hate and fear them at the same time. That's it. No one shoes us away from a gig. Hmm, shoes, eh? Wait here, gang. I'm not cleaning that. It's the clock, mustache, why? If I kind of overheard what I think I kind of overheard, these shoes teach you while you walk. So walking backwards must make you forget. If those hipsters want obscure, then they're going to get it. Crush Band will be the first band that's never even heard of itself. What was I saying? Meh. My brother's uber lame. This one time he was all like, this thing is cool. Whatever, am I right? Sorry, were you talking at me? Finally, we gotta go over our set list. What do you want to play? I don't know how to play. Well, remember quick or we're gonna lose our 
gig! Meh, who cares? <laughs> he doesn't know any songs or care about music? This is the greatest band of all time. Wow, this crowd is on fire! Meh. Okay, what happened to Core? It could only be one thing. <gasps> the Shooniverse! But if he used the shoe universities, wouldn't he be like super smart and know extra songs? Not if he walked backwards! He must have walked backward a bazillion miles to build up this kind of stink. Hmm. He doesn't know anything, so he probably doesn't care about anything either. He's the perfect hipster! <laughs> Cory just checked in at the zoo and bleated bears. Meh. Quick! Let's go find him before he does something else annoyingly blase. Maybe the hipsters don't like you because they think you're trying too hard. So I have to put more effort into not trying so hard. That's gonna take a lot of work. Mina pays harder! I don't know why that's so cool. Meh. Hey, kid, what's going on? That bear was trying so hard to be a bear. We get it. You roar. Meh. Apathetic bear, bored crowd, this reeks of hipster Cory. <laughs> Cory says skydiving, whatever. Woo! I finally conquered my fear of heights. Meh. <laughs> Oh, wow, oh, wow, a double rainbow. Meh. Uh, he's right. You should have been a triple rainbow. I am really strong. Meh. I never thought of it like that before. Oh! <laughs> Guys, it's another bleat from Corey. Parasailing strapped to a bear onto a UFO lane. <laughs> Meh. If we're gonna play our gig tonight at the Bean Barn, we need Cory to snap out of it. <gasps> he needs to walk forward in my shoe universities. That's it! We'll never be eccentric shoe barons with a name like Shoe University! Oh, look, Ken! Our Ed Shoecations are glowing! It seems like he's walking a lot, but going nowhere. <gasps> Doesn't anyone care about anything anymore? I know. It's sad. It is? The shoes must be working. They're teaching Cory to care. We've got to speed his recovery up. It might be too much too fast. Yeah, and it might not be. He's gonna blow! Well, it worked. Most accidents happen while walking. It's a long walk to the gig, so I'll mail you there. With damage insurance, I just care so much about you guys. And my sister. Ugh, she just wants to be liked. Quick, turn him back into a jerk. I totally see it in junk. It's the perfect way to pretend I don't care about being popular with the hipsters to make me popular with the hipsters. Yoink. It's bulletproof, Trina. I can't wait to see it in action. Pretend to be cool is cool. Whoa. Remember, you don't like anything. Stay focused. Meh. I know, right? I didn't order no package that weighs as much as a band. Let us out! <sighs> Where's Corey? You're supposed to go on any minute! Thanks for doing this, Nick. Trina's trying so hard to fit in here, but I know seeing you would really put a smile on her face. Nick, here? Can't smile? The hipsters might see me! Trina Riffin, if these hipsters don't like you for who you are, just know that Nick Mallory does. OMG! My band safe, making Trina smile, and getting a killer song. I'd say this is our best gig yet. Truly a wonderful day. Ugh. One, two, three, four. If you're real, let's see those black rims, hipsters shade, 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 then shade. we all can dance in our grandpa's vintage pants.
gotta walk backwards, dude. Slowly! I put those things back together mostly with gum. At least we can fix this easily. I can't take any more of caring Cory. This just in. Citizens everywhere have become eye-rolling, shrugging hipsters. Who will make this town care again? I'll tell you who. All of us. Because not caring is not living. Life is like a skydiving bear. It's big, fast, hairy, and you should just enjoy the ride before it bites your arms off. If we all just learn to live a little and care a lot, we might be able to fix this town. What do you say, Peaceville? Meh. Meh. Well, I tried. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.